We're live. We're yeah. live here at Movement Fitness. All right, what's up? Hi, Dr. How's Josh. Going? How's it going, Justin? I'm great. So we're here to talk about some balance. We're here with Dr. Josh Bourbon. So from Holcivist Chiropractic Rockford, right? So, go. man, we are excited to have him in, and we're going to talk about balance and how that works for people, both on your side and our side with training and what that looks like. Yep. Very good. Yeah. So the first thing to know about balance is where our body gets information to balance. So the cerebellum located right here, and actually you might be able to see it. My head. Right back here is where the cerebellum, our balance center of the brain is located. And all around here, the cerebellum gets information from our inner ear and also from everywhere in our environment. So in order for the cerebellum to function properly and give information to the rest of the body, not only when it's out of position, but also to feed the muscles yeah. that are gonna provide balance, it has to communicate well. In order for it to communicate well, we have to make sure that the bones of the upper cervical spine are adjusted properly to allow the free flowing of information, and that's where we come in. So as long as we're you know, having the information flow free after a good adjustment, yeah. then we need the muscles in the body to work properly. So sure. how, do, how do we do that? Totally. Justin, yeah. So this is what's super important. We want to progressively overload someone or load someone in a pattern that helps them to make sure that they move well first. So we want to move well first and then we can start to use different ways to assist and then progress through that with balance because we have a lot of people that come in and say, I don't move the way I used to. I can't balance. You know, right. something's changed in my body. Body. And so, uh, as Dr. Josh was talking about, we get feedback from everything around us, from our feet all the way up through our body, through our eyes, everything. So we want to make sure that we're using everything that we can to help people gain balance. So we work a lot with unilateral training, so single leg training, to make sure that we can do that. We start with maybe assisting someone, you know, in a in a split squat position, you know, where we're here. We may need to hold on to something, but working through that pattern to make sure that they understand um, you know, that they can do that and that they can move on one leg. And then we start to progress and start to take stuff away, take that assist away, make it a little more challenging so that way they can progressively push themselves and challenge so their balance continues to get better. And there's all kinds of ways to do that. Absolutely, and you know, um, that made me think of something. What about shoes? Shoes. Do you take people's shoes off? Yeah. Or do you leave them on when you start them on a balance program? Yeah, totally. We actually, for us, we take people's shoes off because we want to make sure that we understand how the foot works and helps send information through the rest of the body, right? Perfect. Because when we look at the body, like big toes, super important, but we also want to make sure that we're not up on our toes, we're not forward, we're not you know losing our balance going forward, we're not falling back because we're putting too much weight on the heel. So all of that is really important to make sure we understand how the foot works and that information is getting sent up through um, into our brain. Yeah, absolutely. And we use we use things like watching the feet and how they move as feedback for training on Justin's end, but we also watch people walk in our clinic in order to see how their total body is moving and where there might be some neurologic deficit, and that's where we come in. So, yeah, awesome, awesome work. Anything yeah. else? Yeah, no, I, well, I think with, with this balance training, what's super cool is, is it helps people to feel good, to move well, it helps longitudinally, so like, we can live longer and move well and feel yeah. like we can have independent living. But also, from a training perspective, it's harder because if you're doing one on one side, you gotta do it on the other. And so that means that we're getting actually double the work. So double duty, it yeah. actually makes more sense from a training perspective to make people do it on individual legs and change that up and work unilaterally. So Perfect. that's super cool. Yeah. yeah. All right, awesome. Well, come and check out Movement Fitness. You can check out, uh, is it Movement, what, what's your Facebook page? Oh man, Movement say? Fitness yeah. Rockford. Um, we're on Instagram at, at Movement815, so you can check us out there, so yeah. Perfect, right, and we're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter with uh, Holcimus Rockford Chiropractic, so come check us out. And make sure, um, if you wanna watch this video and come on into our clinic and reference you know, some, some balance testing, go ahead and put balance19, send us a direct message, and uh, we'll get you and get you checked out. So, Justin, great seeing you. Great to see you. Thanks. All right. yeah, appreciate awesome. it. Go be See great you guys today. later. Yeah. Be great today. Yeah.